Have you ever dreamed of witnessing one of nature's most breathtaking spectacles? Well, we've got an incredible journey for you. Today, we're diving into the world of monarch butterflies as we embark on a magical trip from the enchanting streets of San Miguel de Allende to the awe-inspiring forests of Michoacán. Trust us, this is a trip you don't want to miss. We are Antonieta and Francisco, and we've lived in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, where we have owned and operated Antigua Capilla Boutique Bed and Breakfast since 2009. We love travel, food, and drink. Join us as we explore San Miguel and beyond. Today, we take you along on our recent adventure to the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve in the beautiful Mexican state of Michoacán. Yep, we're driving right into the heart of nature's own masterpiece, where monarch butterflies come for their winter retreat. The journey kicks off bright and early at 7 a.m. from our home in San Miguel de Allende. We're talking about a three and a half hour drive, and trust us, that early start is worth catching these magnificent creatures at their liveliest. Cruising through Mexico's stunning landscapes, you can't help but fall in love with every twist and turn. And today, every curve in the road builds up our excitement to witness millions of monarchs in their natural playground. Join us as we unfold the magic and beauty that awaits us on this adventure. Okay, we made it up to the top. I think we're getting close to the entrance. Still don't see the entrance though. Yeah, where are we supposed to go? Looks like that way. You think? Yeah. Look at all the butterflies. Yeah. Look, they're all down there. Oh yeah, okay, we've seen them, let's go home. <laughs> They're flying, that's a good sign. Yeah. Buenos dias. Oh. There's butterflies everywhere. Yeah. Everything is still closed. There's probably like 5% of all the shops open right now. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So this will be interesting. We went to Sierra Trinqua in February last year. At the height of the season, all the new generation of butterflies had already been born. And here, mid-December, these are the butterflies that are just getting down here from up north. And so it's still quite beautiful. I mean, we haven't even gotten there and we see the butterflies flying everywhere. So I'm hopeful it's gonna be fun. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. I don't know if you can see it through the camera here, but Butterflies are flapping all over the place already. We haven't already. Even made it to the We're entry just, yet. It's magical. And I love this time of year because there aren't that many tourists that. here yet. So kind of get this place to ourselves. Can you guys see the moon up there? That's amazing. And I think we're finally getting to the entrance of the actual sanctuary. Now that we've passed all the little tchotchke stores. Yeah, they made us go through the shopping zone. Wow, look at this. We're literally flying through the butterfly path. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that. They're all around you and we haven't even gotten to the entrance yet. This is just wiggling our way to the front somewhere. I don't even know how much further we have. It looks like it's right there. Look but at this, that. You know, this reminds me of, of snow, like little orange snowflakes. And I see off in the distance the horses. If we want to take a horseback ride, we can decide whether we want to do that. And here's the entrance. 80 pesos for adults and 50 pesos for children to get in. I think that's a reasonable amount. It's, Four dollars for adults and two fifty for children. Get that. Ya nos metíamos. No, no, no. Muchas gracias. Compañero guía. Okay. Vamos contigo. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Mucho gusto. Daniela, muy bien. Daniela, mucho gusto. All right, so we're in. We paid our ticket and we walked in. And now we're heading up another hill for a two-kilometer hike to where the butterflies are hanging out. Here we go. ¿Cuándo empieza la temporada? Ah, día de muertos llegan. ¿Y cuándo abren? 18 de noviembre. Look at them on the steps. You can hear them. Hear the flapping. All right, so the ones with two dots on the wings, like these guys, are Those male. Are male. 
so far it's pretty steep but i think we're going to enjoy it more hiking up than taking a horse i think if you're in any kind of reasonable shape with no ailments this is definitely doable you feel the altitude a little bit but other than that they do have signs leading you to the right direction, but you don't really have to worry about it because everybody that comes to the park is assigned a, a local guide that will guide us all the way up. Anywhere there's a patch of sun, there's butterflies flying. And in the shade, not so much. Can you take a guess how many steps in total there are? Oh, how many steps all the way up? Yeah. Um, 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, 610 up and 610 down. Okay. Well, when I thought 4,610 seems a lot easier to do. Okay, we're halfway there. All right, here's another turn. More steps. Check your heartbeat. Let's see. Mine's 176. I'm gonna check my heartbeat right now, see, see what it is. Is the ruido que se oye que son? Son pajaritos. 138 beats per minute. Wow. We're about to do our last three steps. 608, 609, 610. And we did it. And it looks like we still have an uphill path. She says that was the hardest part. Good. Not too bad. Very doable. Eight, nine, six hundred and ten. Good job. <laughs> High five. Yeah. Woo. I feel like Rocky. <laughs> it's never ending. Butterflies are just everywhere. We've been walking this entire path from the parking lot all the way up to this point and butterflies are all over the place. It's pretty incredible that the entire population of monarch butterflies, the entire population of the endangered species is here. Cinco minutos. Ah, okay. <laughs> and yeah, so this is interesting. They're reforesting the trees here. And you can see down there the little baby Oya mill trees that are starting to sprout. And one day they're gonna reach to be the height of these guys. It's about to get good. Okay, I think we've made it to the top where the butterflies are wintering. And so, here we go. Butterfly just got me good, slapped me in the face. <laughs> Ran right into my cheek. All right, so far so good. Got a little incline going. Definitely doable. So much fun. Temperature's perfect. Got a little bit of sweat on, but it's not bad at all. I have to admit, I'm out of breath. <laughs> yeah, me too. We should mention that, that in the entry, there's people selling bamboo walking sticks. Kind of cool with a handle. So if you need walking sticks, you can buy some. We had our doubts that coming in mid-December, we'd see much. This is the it's perfect time to come if you want to avoid the hordes the of tourists. It's amazing to, to be here and have this place almost <gasps> entirely to ourselves. We've seen probably less than 10 people so far. That's amazing. And we're halfway through the walk. So now we're looking down to the point where we came from. And then the thousands of butterflies that have made the almost impossible journey from beyond. Now they're here in middle Mexico. I don't know if you can see all these butterflies behind us, but they're just everywhere. She said that we were super lucky because the last week or so it's been overcast and if it's overcast then the butterflies don't fly. They need the sun to keep them warm and get them going. And that today is the first day that there's actually been sunshine. So we got very lucky. Butterflies and as far as the eye can see. It's beyond gorgeous. So here's something that I've been pondering. Why is it that uh, when we see millions of butterflies flying around and all over our feet and around streams. They look beautiful to us, they look gorgeous. But if you change butterflies to something like cockroaches or something like that, we would be grossed out. Why is it that a million butterflies are beautiful, but a million cockroaches are gross? Comment below. Oh my goodness. Okay, see all the orange? All the orange in the trees? That is all butterfly. You can actually hear the fluttering of the wings.
really cool how you can see all the butterflies just resting on that one tree trunk. Not actually on all the tree trunks, but that skinny one right in the middle. You can see them all just chilling, getting some sunshine. So we're heading back down to the little restaurants. And I mean, I could, I could stay here all day looking at these butterflies. The state of Michoacan is such a beautiful state in central Mexico. Temperature couldn't be any better. It's in the mid 60s, mid to high 60s. We're walking through this beautiful pine forest surrounded by monarch butterflies that have migrated all the way down from Canada. It's just incredible, really happy to be able to be here and experience this. The walk one way took about 45 minutes. And then once we got there, we were allowed to stay there as long as we wanted. Just picked a spot and sat down and enjoyed the monarchs. And uh, it's very peaceful. Everybody was respecting the silence. Everybody was talking in their library voice. And uh, probably stayed there, what, 45 minutes maybe? Yeah. And then we're heading down, easy peasy. Beautiful day. Por donde vamos? All right, so we've chosen to take the horses back down and they charge 150 pesos per person. So that's like $7 and 50 cents. And we were going to walk down, but we thought we'd give the horses a try and, and contribute to the local economy as well. I can't get this one in. Said. <laughs> kind of steep. Yeah, it is. Started trotting here. Your house just following, or is he with you? He's following you. All by himself? Well, the guy's behind. Oh, okay. I've heard of helmet cam. How about port head cam? <laughs> Whoa. So steep. Sheep off in the distance. Some more butterflies here. <laughs> they got the butterflies out of the way. <laughs> wow, check this out. All these butterflies in the stream. Oh no. That was close. My horse almost stepped all over him. They definitely like the water. They seem to cluster around the streams. All right, we've made it to the other side. And this is the end of the ride for us. We're almost back to the parking lot. Totally worth taking the horse, only because we passed a few streams where the butterflies <laughs> gathered. So that was great. All right, we made it to the end. A little bit of a traffic jam. Made it off the horse. That was fun. Look at the plants growing on the roof. It's pretty cool. Man, I love this place. Viva Mexico. Look, there's like a little fir tree nursery. Oh, yeah. And the butterflies are enjoying the sun over there. All right, so that's it. We're exiting the sanctuary now. We're headed back to where the restaurants are and the parking lots are. And make a quick potty stop and get some food. You can get Gracias. cups and magnets, and napkins, Coke. Keychains, what else? Ruffles and Doritos. Oh, Saw some man. fresh fruit over here, so we're gonna mm. see what they have. But these are jocotes, right? Estos también les dicen jocotes aquí. Es este ciruela. Ciruela. Mm. Puedes tomarla. Gracias. 
So this they call ciruela here. I got one that's a little bit too ripe on the other side, but I'm just gonna try it. I know them as jocotes. In Guatemala, this is what we used to call them. Oh. Mm, so good. See, it's really juicy. It's got a really, really big pit on the inside. So you're just getting maybe like a quarter of an inch of fruit. Kind of see it right there. And then the rest of it is pit. Delish. Getting a little mixed fruit cup with cream and sweetened condensed milk. Oh yeah. <laughs> just made this healthy snack even more healthy because now we get the energy that, that we lost on our, on our walk. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Do I dare? <laughs> yeah, there, I'm gonna try one. Mm, it's good with the cream. Mm -hmm. The whipped cream is not sweetened or anything. ¿Cuánto le debo? So we're making it to the bottom of the Trachki row, otherwise known as the Chops Zone. And that was totally, that was beyond incredible what we just saw. <laughs> I've never seen so many butterflies in one place concentrated like that. Last year we went to Sierra Cinqua and I thought that was amazing. And we saw a lot of butterflies, but here at Rosario you see even more. If you're lucky like us that you can come every year once a year for the season, then I would say try both of them. Yeah, they're both right? worthwhile. Yeah. What I liked about this, and it might just be the time of year that we are here, but we went to Sierra Cinqua in, in February of this year. It was February 2022. 2022. There weren't that many travelers yet. And however, it was, it was still pretty full when we went and they forced us to move on after. And actually, they said the half an hour, but we, we actually were able to stay a little longer. But here, it's really mellow. I mean, it's tough for the vendors, but for us, it was great because there weren't that many people. None at all. Hardly any people at all, honestly. And so we... And well, and we're, we must say we're here on a Wednesday, a Thursday. Thursday. Our guide was telling me that on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there's tons more people that come. But today, Thursday, it was pretty mild. Yeah, so come on a Thursday. Yeah, or come on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Or Th Thursday. Yeah. Ya estamos de regreso. <laughs> ¿Aquí? Sí, aquí pasé. Okay. Tenemos carne asada, cecina, mole con pollo, chile rellenos, sopa de hongo, milanesa de pollo y mole de olla. Oh, okay. Mm. Thanks for watching.